Welcome, welcome, it's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I just have this um, little canvas that I've just before was ending my day of being in the studio and I just got these three little bits of paint that are thin paints for a Dutch pour. So I just thought I'd turn my camera on and um, see how I go and film it because sometimes they can turn out great and then sometimes not so great. So that is way too thick for a Dutch pour. Hmm. Okay, thin the paint. So I will add some flow troll and a bit of water to my paint and get that done and dusted. Let's see how I go. Just, just, oh sorry, oh, I'm over there thinking you're with me. I'm just adding some, I've added some flow troll. I did some water. I am just hopeless at getting this mix right for the base for a Dutch pour. I just don't seem to have it in my DNA to go um, to go really uh, thin. I just it's just something that stops me doing thin paint, thinking it's you know it's not going to be enough, like. I don't know, I don't know what it is, I just have this thing, so let's see what this mix comes out like. Uh, I'm going to just pour it and then I'll blow it and see if it blows around. I just looked up at my lights and I see that I've got paint all up on my lights, so... Still too thick, hey? Still too thick, can't believe it. Okay, I add in some more white, I mean some more water. I'm giving it a good shake. Ah. Good shake. I thought that I got this all prepped ready, the white. No problems, and then it seems to thicken up. Um, anyway, you can't win them all, you just got to keep trying, just push on, things don't go right, the same in life, you're just trying your best, you're just giving it a go, um, and that's what I'm doing, so I will just try this, might come out beautiful, might come out like a dog's dinner, dog's dinner, let's see what we get. That's probably the actual consistency. Yeah, that's the consistency that I really need, but whether it will work now because I've got that thicker consistency underneath is a whole nother story. I've got quite a few air bubbles in this paint and that's because I've been shaking the life out of my, um, shaking the life out of my bottle of white paint. So I just have a few colours here. So I'm hoping I kind of get a sunsetty colour. I maybe maybe I blow the whole lot out in these bright colours. So that's the fluoro purple. I have fluoro orange. See these are thin enough. And then I have yellow. So these are obviously going to be thin enough. These are just the right consistency, I believe, for the Dutch pour. Then I'll put a bit of white in that as well. Might go back and put a bit of... I, I don't mind if I cover the canvas in these colours uh, because it's kind of, yeah, like a real um, sunrise, sunset. Oh, look at the fracturizing that I've got going on because of the very, um, it's what seems to have big, very thin paint. I seem to have that happen when I, oh my goodness, I should take some photos of that. Fractures. So there you go for fracturizing. All I've done was mixed the white paint, Floetrol water on a very thin base. And then they were just my normal colors, but watered right down. So, Ah, uh, quickly, 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 quickly. 
oh no, malfunction. When I said quickly, quickly was to go round and turn off my camera so I could take these photos. And then when I come back and restarted the video for the rest of it, I didn't start. I did. I thought I'd press the button, but I didn't. So, so sorry. But so you get this little video on how to make fractures instead of what I was going to do. Until tomorrow. <laughs> Bye for now.